In this video, let us learn how to detect the ground level when you use Ocean in your daily life. This will help you to recognize when there is level ground where you can walk safely. You will also learn how to detect common obstacles on the ground like a road hump, stones on the road, footpath, etc. As you may have learned during your mobility training with the white cane, while walking, the cane is swept from side to side in an arc about the width of your body. As you walk along, the cane will touch the ground at the end of each sweep from right to left. It is done such that the cane taps the spot where the next footstep will land. This allows the person to check things out with each step before their foot lands on the spot. If there is an object lying on the floor, the cane will find it and prevent a stumble or a fall. Similarly, in Ocean, the scanning technique described earlier is used to detect if the ground is level or has any up or down slopes. Let us see how Ocean can help you to do this. Set Ocean to 2 meter range and hold Ocean in a way that it points down. You can hold Ocean at a comfortable height. You should scan from top to bottom, that is, the vertical scanning technique. As you walk forward and scan down, Ensure that you hear one single constant musical tone. A single tone when you are pointing below means that the ground in front of you is level and you are at a constant distance from it. Please observe the person in the video. He uses the vertical scanning technique to recognize that the ground is even. Notice that when the person is pointing to the ground, he gets a constant tone as feedback. And when he is pointing forward, no feedback is heard, which indicates no obstacles are present in front of him. He uses this technique of scanning up and down, up and down, up and down and continues to move forward. This is how you should detect the ground level using Ocean. So, to recognize that the ground in front of you is level, you should get a constant musical tone when you point it down. Please remember this. If Ocean is pointing below, you should get a constant tone to indicate level ground. And if Ocean is pointing front and no feedback is given, then it is safe to move forward and proceed further. Now, let us understand how to find objects on the ground. Ocean detects objects that are at least 10 cm in height. So, you will be able to find if there are small humps or a stone or a footpath in front of you. Inside the home, you will be able to detect objects like chairs, tables, etc. In this case, the musical note changes by one or two notes depending on the size of the object. So, it is important that you learn and understand the musical note that is given as feedback. Notice that in the video, the change in musical note due to the presence of the stone in front. You will get a similar feedback. The musical note changes by one or two notes as you walk from the road and come close to the footpath. Please observe the footpath video and the change in the musical note. If you point origin down and you do not get any feedback, you have to be extremely careful. This indicates that you are very close to downstairs or a sudden slope. We will discuss this in the next video where we will look at how to detect up and downstairs. You can practice these techniques at your home or in a safe environment where you have a family member or a mobility instructor to help you recognize and learn this important skill. So, to summarize, if Ogin is pointing to the front, and you do not hear any musical note as feedback, it is safe to walk forward. If there are stones or footpaths at your feet that are bigger than 10 cm, Ocean will be able to detect it and you will get a change in the musical note. If Ocean is pointed near your feet and you do not hear any musical note as feedback, you have to be very careful. It means that you are very close to a downstairs or a sudden slope in the ground. Please listen keenly to recognize a change in tones for small obstacles at your feet level.
as always training and practice is very important and you should practice sufficiently in a safe environment to gain confidence